What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Something Mad back with the video. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys about the new Kia NBA 2K21 Next Gen Park event, how to win, everything you need to know about this event to win, and I'm gonna show you guys the rewards that I chose in this event, man. So, if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video, try to smash 1k likes, and I'm gonna get right into everything you need to know about this new event. I'm on the road to 200k. Make sure you guys sub and let's get it. All right, y'all. So, for the first part of the event, the green two, otherwise known as trampoline park. This part right here, if you guys remember cages, it's exactly like cages, all right? Now, this game mode comes with some rules. So the first rule, there are no three-pointers in this game. No matter where you shoot from, every point is a two-pointer. But the trick is, it's gonna be hard to score in a, it's kinda hard to score in a paint in this game mode for some reason. So that's why for the most part, you'll see me and my teammates only shooting from the mid-range or the three-pointer. That's all we did the whole entire game and look. Now that's a bad shot, but if you, if you know how to do the step back method, then you should be able to get a three off every time because the AIs don't really contest. For some reason, the AIs in this game, they're not, I don't know. On defense, it's like they, they walk back. They let, they kind of just let you shoot. You know, it's the same way when you're playing micro and you're getting shooting about it. So look, another thing is the computers will shoot if you leave them, but you can let them shoot. He made that shot, but normally they would miss. I'm, I was actually surprised when he made that shot. So look, that's all they try to do the whole game. They most of the time they try to attack in a basket and they keep going up. So this game was kind of easy. Just don't. As you can see, I'm shooting because the paint is kind of hard to score on the computers in the paint, but on the perimeter they leave open for some reason. But this event is easy. Just don't try to rely on scoring in the paint. I'm telling you guys right now, they're gonna stop. Every time we went to the paint, they were stopping it. So every time you see me score is from the perimeter look they they just leaving me open right on right at the three and like i said there's no three pointers in this game mode so since this game mode is all two pointers it, it feels like this game mode takes forever which it does because you have to do this two more times after you win so you got to win this you got to win each game mode three times and it don't matter which order you go in i'm just showing you guys the order that the tubes are in so like i said this is a green tube aka the trampoline park all you got to do right here and this one to win all three games is just shoot do the micro method where you do a jab step or something get space and just shoot the three so you have to be you don't have to be able to shoot you could play with teammates that can shoot just play with someone that can shoot threes man so everybody on my team we all can shoot threes so it was kind of easy and you don't even have to shoot threes you can shoot mid ranges and just watch out because if you get too close to the mid range it might make you jump on the trampoline part and you don't want to do that so look all my teammates including me can shoot so this game mode was nothing and i found out the method qu pretty quickly i was wondering like if we can't score in the paint we might as well just shoot then and then we noticed that we're li literally leaving us open so it was no point so i just want to point that out for you guys who was trying to win this event for the first part the trampoline part all you got to do you one of your teammates somebody just play play with somebody that can shoot and just let them shoot the whole entire game and yeah yeah also if you want to get the most rep in this event try to get an a try to get an a a b minus at least but if you want the most possible rep get an a plus a max a plus your bar will go up like that so that's it for the first part like i said all you got to do is just shoot they're going to leave open and look he just green some wild wild shot now let's get into the second part now the second part now this right here well this is not even the second part but this part right here is online now you got to beat three people online which is pretty easy well i'm not gonna say it's easy you could get a comp team you know depending but this part right here i think this is a blue tube or the red tube i don't remember too surely one of those tubes is an nba team so look you got to beat three teams three different teams online i don't know if it's three different or it don't matter but i'm not pretty sure just and just in case just beat three different teams and then you'll have it now the secret into beating three different teams just play with iq take small shots play defense man you guys know you guys know all the basics that you need to do to win a game that's all you got to do there's no special rules on this part right here there's three pointers and two pointers so you're not limited there's no trampoline or nothing this is like a regular online card game right here basically for the event you just got to beat three different teams and once you do that you move on to the other two which is it's kind of like core conquer if you guys remember what core conquer was you play against different 
NBA players and you got to beat them. That's exactly what the last one is. That's all you got to do is beat the NBA players. Now, if you guys want to want to know the best method to get rep, all you guys got to do is play against the NBA players the whole, like, look, this event is about 40 hours, right? It's also double rep, not to mention it's double rep, it's 40 hours. All you guys got to do is play against the NBA players for 40 hours because it's, it's super easy to get an A-plus against NBA players. All you guys got to do is just just get assists, good pass success screens. It's super easy getting an A-plus against the NBA players. So if you guys want to know how to get the most rep, just play against the NBA players for the whole event. After you complete it, and then boom, you'll, get, you'll be getting the most possible rep in the event. As you guys can see, I don't... These teams I'm showing you are three different teams. I don't even know who I'm playing with. I just hopped on and I was able to win the event. It's pretty simple. And and the and the prices, the prizes that you get to choose, they're not even bad. You get you get to choose 10k VC, 50 game boost, a Kia shirt. So the prizes are not bad, you know what I'm saying? You get you get pretty good. Oh yeah, and you get to get to choose a Kia beanie. I chose a shirt and I chose a um 10k VC now depending on it, it is no bad choice to be honest but I'd recommend going with the 50 game boost and the 10k as one as one of the options like you got to choose one of those options on the list those are the two best options now last but not least this is the NBA part now look you see what I'm making now let's talk about the let's talk about the NBA players part. Now this part right here, there's no rules, no regulations, nothing you need to know. But all you gotta do is to win is just guard the paint the whole entire time. Let them shoot. They won't. Most of the time they won't make their shot, so you could just let them shoot. And once you guard the paint you'll notice they'll just they'll literally force it in the paint regardless like even if you're guarding the paint the nba players the computers will literally force it in the paint so that's all you got to do man this event is pretty simple and if you you don't even need a squad for this event now having a squad does help but i was able to win this event without a squad so i'll just let you guys know you don't need a squad but it does help all right so that's all the key event is about you gotta do each of these game modes three times in a row. And I mentioned these this in my last four videos, y'all. I'm doing a huge giveaway, two winners, one PS5 winner and one Xbox Series X winner, man. If you guys wanna enter the giveaway, just be subscribed to the channel. Drop a like on the video and comment below which console you you want. And by Christmas time, I'm gonna pick two winners. So if you guys wanna enter, that's all you gotta do. I'm trying to give back, trying to hook some people up with the next gen consoles. So if you guys want the next gen consoles, that's all you gotta do, all right? Now, Another thing is, when playing this event, when you when you do all the steps you need to do complete it, you might be wondering where is my rewards? Cause I was wondering, I did the whole event and none of my rewards are popping up. You guys gotta join a new park or dashboard and then your events will pop up. I had to do that after this one. I had the dashboard completely out the game cause I was like, bro, what? Like, did I not get my rewards? And then I dashed and they finally gave me my reward. So I just want to point that out there. If you guys are wondering the same thing, I was wondering when I completed it and they have rewards. That's all you have to do, alright? I managed to go all the way through my all-star one bar with this event. You could wrap up like crazy in this event. You could literally play this event. After you complete the event, you could play this event the whole day. Even after you completed it and still get rep. So I just want to point that out there for all the people that's trying to, you know, hit legend or trying to get your rep up. You got I recommend playing the NBA player game mode the whole day because it's easy to get an A plus. And the computers are looking not like the NBA player computers are not good, so you guys can easily score on them and get an A plus. Get the grades, and get the rep that you need against them. So that's all toward that's all the key event is pretty much. So I really went over the whole event. The only thing you gotta worry about for each one is winning pretty much. That's the only thing that's guaranteed. If you can secure your, your wins, you don't have to worry about nothing, man. That's all you got to do. Just win each of them three times. And then, boom, you'll win. You dashboard, join a new park, etc. And then all your rewards pop up. Now, I'm going to get into the exact rewards that I chose so you guys can see what rewards you have to choose from. 
Now, when it comes to rewards, like I said, remember I said I had the dashboard loaded on my player. Boom! At, at Ice You Can You Rise to a Kid Challenge, and then it sits on the screen for a couple seconds, and then my rewards popped up, and I chose the Kia T and the 10K BC. That's pretty much it for the video. Be sure to subscribe, and like if you're new. It's been your boy Stumpy. I'm out. Peace.